Finally, an owl encounter. So it feels like it's been ages since I last saw a great gray owl. They are so beautiful. Wow. I'm just gonna wait and not disturb. I'm just gonna stand here quietly and wait. Oh, he flies away. Okay, so I saw a fox peeking out from this little forest here. So I just pointed my camera, pressed record, and then I went to my car to make some lunch. And <laughs> this is what I captured.
okay, time to go home. But oh my God, what an evening. What an amazing evening. I, I'm speechless. This was such an experience to, to see them like hunt and call for each other. And I saw the, the male was catching a, I think it was a blue tit or I, I will see on the, the footage later, hopefully. But unfortunately I missed to catch the, the moment when the male delivered the food. But yeah, I, at least I got some shots and what an amazing moment. And leave them alone for a couple of weeks now. And wow, I am blown away. <laughs> amazing. And you can hear the blackbird calling. And it's just an amazing spring moment. What a time to be alive. <laughs> So I got to follow along my friend Jonathan, who works with ringing birds, on a mission to put a ring on this family of kingfishers. It was so cool to see this bird up close with its blue and orange feathers that almost looks like CGI. Putting rings on birds helps scientists to identify birds like around the globe, helping us learn more about their habitats and their movements, which plays a crucial role in safeguarding birds and ensuring preservation of their environments. So um, I think they're doing a very important job here. And it was such a fun experience following along Jonathan, and I hope to do it again sometime soon. in and we have about 19 hours left we're spending 40 hours inside of this little cabin in the swedish woods and we're looking for a very very big animal
So for this next moment, I didn't film any like behind the scenes at all. And by the way, that is one of my New Year's resolutions that I'm going to film and document more even when I'm not like officially making a YouTube video. That is actually why I bought the Osmo Pocket 3 that I'm filming this on. But that is not what this video is about. I was out looking for Pygmy Owl and I actually found one. I didn't get any good shots of it, however. But then I heard this kind of growling noise inside of the forest. I knew exactly what it was because I... I've heard that outside of my house during this fall. And fallow deer are making this noise when they're in their rutting season. So I thought, finally, this is the moment I'm gonna get some footage of it because I, I haven't really put some time in it. So I decided to sneak on them, but I didn't have any camo clothing or anything. I just, yeah, had my regular rain jacket. I decided to to crawl because obviously you don't want to walk in there. I crawled closer and closer to the sound. Then I saw the meadow. There was like 15 deer. They were all hanging out there. <laughs> so I crawled myself closer and closer. This is what I captured. Oh my friends, I want to say a huge thanks for this year on YouTube. It's been so much fun and I appreciate every single comment and like and you're always so kind and I appreciate it so much. Uh, we're now 100,000 on this channel. It's absolutely crazy and uh, I'm very happy. And thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you uh, like this. I, it was a little bit of a special video, but it's a lot of fun making it, this kind of recap and um, yeah thanks a lot so have a happy new year and I'll see you bye it's tracking by the way it's really freaking cool it's very fast yes bye <laughs>